All right, so again, we are going to review what we did yesterday. Yesterday, we said that if you have this integer plus a negative 2, that we wanted to rewrite this so that there was only one symbol in front of the 2. What would we make this, a positive 2 or a negative 2? It is a negative 2. The reason it is a negative 2 is because the signs in front of it are different. So when the signs in front of it are different, it's going to be negative. Okay. If we have minus a negative 4, is that going to simplify to being a positive 4 or a negative 4? Positive 4. Because when the signs are the same in front of it, it is positive. What if we had minus a positive 8? Is that going to be positive 8 or negative 8? Negative 8. Because the signs in front of it are different. We are reviewing from yesterday, Owen. And the other option would be if we have a plus a positive. Would that be a positive 13 or a negative 13? Positive 13. All right, so again, that was all review from yesterday. If the signs in front of a number are the same, it's a positive. If the signs in front of a number are different, it's a negative. Now, I do want to clarify that there can only be parentheses separating those signs. There cannot be a number separating those signs. We talked about that kind of. So we continued with that thought yesterday that if you had something like negative 4 plus a negative 9, that we wanted to simplify that. Now, in front of the 4, it's just a negative sign. So you have a negative 4. But in front of this 9, you had all of this stuff. So is that 9 going to be rewritten as a positive 9 or a negative 9? A negative 9 because the signs are different. So you have your negative 4, and then this would be a negative 9. If you had 11 minus a positive 5, what is your 11? It's positive. So when you don't see a sign in front of it, you know that it's positive. What would be your 5? Why is it negative? Different signs. That's why we're reviewing. All right, so now that we've reviewed that, we're going to be ready to actually solve these problems. And again, we're going to solve these problems first by modeling, and then we're going to solve these problems by using a number line. So solve by modeling. So again, solving by modeling, a positive 5 would be 5 positive signs. A negative 7 would be 7 negative signs. So if we had these two integers, and we wanted to combine these two integers, what would we, we would be looking for is pairs. Pairs, like not the fruit. Positive and a negative. 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 We have five pairs here. These pairs cancel each other out, and then we are left with two negatives. So that's your answer to 5 minus 7. It's a negative 2. <coughs> we'll do more. Don't worry. All right, let's do another example. Let's do the problem. 6 plus negative 3. Now, before I start modeling anything, let me figure out if the 6 is positive or negative and if the 3 is positive or negative. So the 6, the 6 is positive. 
the three, it has a plus and a minus sign in front of it, so that makes it a negative because the signs are different that are in front of it. So to model this, we're going to make six positive signs. And then underneath it, I'm going to make three negative signs. How many pairs do I have? These things match up with each other, don't they? So I am left with these three pluses all by themselves. Poor things. So three, positive three is my answer. Six plus a negative three is three. Yes. All right, let's try another one. If we have negative seven minus a negative two. So what are my two integers? Is seven positive or negative? Negative. And is two positive or negative? Positive. So I have a negative seven and a positive two. Negative seven. And a positive two. How many pairs do I have? Two pairs. So those things cancel out. I'm left with five negative signs. So that is my answer, a negative five. Negative seven minus a negative two is a negative five. All right, another example. If you have three minus a positive four. Is this three positive or negative? There's nothing in front of it, so that means it's a positive three. Minus a positive four turns into negative four because the signs are different. So now model your positive three, model your negative four. We have three pairs that cancel each other out. We're left with a negative one. So that's your answer. Three minus positive four equals negative one. You're solving these problems. All right, you try one. Please solve this one by modeling. All right, so when you were looking at this problem, hopefully you said, all right, this is a negative five and minus a negative eight is gonna become plus eight. So I have five negatives and I have eight positives. That leaves me with five pairs and I have three positives left over. So that's my answer, a positive three. All right, so solve using number lines. Solve using number lines. We're going to take the problem 4 plus negative 5. And we're going to use a number line to solve this problem. The first digit is where we start on the number line. So we're going to start at 4. So I'm going to go over here and make a number line. Now, on your paper today, on your assignment, I'm going to give you a number line, okay? I'm not going to put more on my number line than I think I might need. But I'm going to start at 4. So I'm going to put a dot at the 4. To figure out which direction I need to go, I'm going to look at my second number. Now my second number says plus a negative 5. That gets simplified to what? Negative 5. So if it's negative, we're going to go left on our number line. If it's positive, we're going to go right on our number line. So again, negative means go left. 
negative. So I, from the four, I'm going to go left five. And that puts me at the negative one. So that's my answer. So again, I started at the four and I moved left five spaces because it was negative and that put me at the negative one. So some people like the modeling, some people like the number line better. We'll do a couple more number lines before you get your assignment. I'm going to scoot up some. We're going to do the problem negative 6 plus 3. So let's go ahead and make a number line. We need negative 6, so I'm going to put a 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Again, I will give you the number lines on your assignment today. So we are going to start at negative 6. My second number is a positive 3. So if it's positive, we're going to move. Positive, move, right. So from my negative six, I'm moving three places to the right, and that puts me at the negative three. Raise your hand if you did this way in sixth grade. You probably all did. You just maybe not, don't remember. 